Hey, what's up, Cleaners Connect? I'm on my first job. I was just thinking, guys, I'm almost done. Got to do the rest of the hallway and also uh, two more rooms. Show you guys what I've done so far. Uh, the customer was very prepared for me. Had most of the stuff moved out the way. Everything they want moved out the way. So show you guys what I got left. So I got this room right here left. I CRB everything. All right, so I CRB uh, all the rooms. The hallway is what I got left. And you can see they got all the furniture moved. They moved all this furniture before I got here, guys. So I know I joke about it, about you know not moving furniture, but guys, again, I just feel like it's not our responsibility to move their furniture. And if you know how to talk to them and communicate them, they will do it if they want it done. Let me uh, shut this down right quick. But just to show you guys, man, I have been here since 10 o'clock. It's a little bit over uh, 12 o'clock Eastern time. So I've been here over two hours. I'll probably be here uh, with wrapping up and finishing the hallway in those two rooms. I'll probably be done here probably about, I'm going to say maybe another 45 minutes to an hour. So just the cleaning itself was about two and a half hours. Um, of course, they're setting up, breaking down. But you can see how great these carpets look. Uh, you guys didn't see it before, but I am shooting a YouTube video. I've done the Masters. Uh, this area right here. This was a total of seven areas and one ha hallway for 375. But my my uh, my thing, guys, is this. And just listen to me, especially a lot of you new cleaners, guys. Don't be that cleaner that that uh, what we call splash and dash. You're basically always looking at the clock, trying to get out of jobs. I hear some guys, man, say they can do this job in an hour, hour and a half. Man, hour and a half, I would have been done. Guys, let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something. Just because my customer is downstairs in the basement does not mean he's not watching. And that's why a lot of you cleaners, you end up going years, years, and years, and you're always looking for new customers. You want to know why? You're always looking for new customers. And Truman Steamers, over 80% of our new customers are referrals. Why, guys? Because, again, your customers are watching what you're doing. You guys think you're getting over, and you're really not. So as the years go by... And you always wonder why I'm looking for new customers because you're not keeping the ones that you already had. These customers are paying attention. And you know what the crazy part is? I don't care if you're a $20 cleaner or if you're a $50 cleaner. All these customers want a great job. So what I'm saying, guys, listen, you can do what you want to do, okay? But, you know, bragging about how fast it takes you to do a job, you know, guys, that's, that's nothing to brag about because people are paying you to do a job. And again, you're not punching the clock. You're not getting, uh, you know, if you have to uh, uh, base your, the, the speed of the job on how many hours it takes you guys, guys, maybe you need to adjust something in your business model. I don't look at the clock. I don't look at how fast I should take me to do a job. My goal is to do the job and satisfy the customer and do it right. So all this, oh, I do a job in an hour. I can do uh, seven areas in an hour and a half. Guys, and so what? So what, what? I mean, what does that prove? What does that mean? You know, uh, if I really wanted to, I can come in and splash and dash this whole job in 45 minutes. But again, what is that going to prove? It, it proves nothing. It, it just basically shows that, again, you're, you're, you're very ignorant and you don't care about the customer. All you care about is yourself. Okay, guys? Learn how to care about the customer. If you're not making enough money to make a profit, take your prices up. Maybe start marketing to new customers. If you have to do, I mean, guys, again, to each his own. But if you out here doing five, six, seven jobs a day, guys, I'm telling you, you're not doing it right. Trust me, I've been there. I've been on both sides of the field. I've been there, okay? Doing four, five, six, seven jobs a day, guys, yeah, that is, unless you're doing apartments or hotels, that's a totally different ball game. But we're talking about residential, okay? Residential, all right? So I'm telling you guys, you think your customer's gone? You think they, oh, I'm going I'm to go up to the store. I'm going to go in the basement. You think they ain't watching you? All right, okay. And then five, six years, seven years go by, and you're still looking for ways to market. You're still looking for ways to get in customers because you know why? Five years, man, you should have a clientele built up so good. Guys, listen. Listen to what I'm telling you. I can turn off all my marketing that I have, and I don't have much marketing. I don't have much marketing. I don't spend a lot of money on marketing, okay? I can turn off all my little Facebook ads. 
guys, my business will still survive off of repeats and referrals. Believe that, okay? There are some days I look at my, my, my schedule and all I have is repeats and referrals. So my thing is this, yeah, I've been here since 10 o'clock. It's almost 12.30. So this job probably took me about three hours setting up, cleaning the carpets right, pre-treating, vacuuming, CRB, and now I'm extracting. But guess what? Not only am I gonna have a satisfied customer, now I have the potential of getting a repeat customer and referrals. That's how you grow a business, especially if you're a small business like most of us. You don't have money to be wasting on marketing. If you five, guys, come on, man. Five years going by and you still spend just, much, just as much as money on marketing than you were when you first started. Guys, I'm telling you right now, listen to it. Listen to my mouth. If you're spending just as much money on marketing than you were when you first started, and isn't and it's been four or five years and it's just you guys you got a problem okay you got a serious problem okay as the years go by your marketing budget should go down as the years go up your marketing budget should go down okay so you shouldn't still be spending just as much money on marketing than you did when you first started so like i said man since each is on do, do do the customer right take care of your customers if you're not making enough money raise your prices okay raise your prices um all we try to do is about three jobs a day a piece okay so that's about six jobs a day each truck you know and, and i found that be my suits my sweet spot where i can take my time i can build a relationship with the customer and i can satisfy the customer um with with, with the uh the job that they hired us to do about three jobs a day is my my sweet spot okay setting up guys just doing it so uh I'm gonna go ahead and finish up. So you can see these rooms aren't clean yet. These are just CRB. So all this is CRB. So I just gotta finish this hallway. This is a ranch house too. Okay, got that, that. Look at that room, man, beautiful. Matter of fact, let me call my customer upstairs and see how I want him to take a look at it right quick. Where's the basement? Hey, Brian? Yeah. Hey, man, you wanna come take a look at it, see what I've done so far? Now I have it done, this room, that room, I just uh, treat it and scrub it, but you can walk on it. But I've already done everything up here and I just gotta work myself back. So just go ahead and take a look and tell me what you think. All right. I guess it yeah. Not this whole area. Now that look right there look better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then you got the masters with the sitting area. Thank you, thank you. All right, man. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up, work myself out. Uh, have you guys ever had the carpets clean before? Uh, yeah. You did? Long time ago. Long time ago. Okay. Okay. Perfect. We first got the house 20 years ago, you know, we had them clean a couple of times. Okay. In five years. Uh-huh. Oh, you did 20 years? Yeah. Wow, okay. Awesome. And then, and then uh, we had a board playing ball, travel ball, so we stayed on the road a lot. Oh, okay, okay. And then you kind of let it go. I mean, you know, I bought it. I, I rented a cleaner a couple of times. Yeah. Cleaned, but yeah. It looked really bad. I mean, there's a lot of junk in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. So, are these stains just permanent? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, nothing. not nothing. Mm -mm. Yeah. Only thing we could probably do, I have a guy that repairs carpet, probably could patch it out. But yeah, those I can try one more time, but yeah, sometimes it, 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 it dies the fiber. Next thing you can do about it. Yep. Yeah, I didn't so, know if it could even actually die. I think I saw fiber die, carpet die. Yeah, like well, you know, you have to, first you have to remove it, then dye it. it it's, kind of, it's a lighter carpet. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know if could get Yeah, we can. Yeah, my last, I got some guys so they can repair it. They can cookie cutter or uh, patch it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We can't get it clean. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to give them a carpet allowance. Yeah. Four okay. Four in the but you just want to get it clean. Yeah, we we'll get it clean. We'll get, we'll well, and also, thank you for moving out of that furniture out the way for me, too. I, I didn't know if y'all did it or not. No. Nah. Yeah, we always ask the customer to move it. So I think I told your wife that to have as much money and furniture as moved as possible so you guys did a pretty good job.
Yeah, we, we want to try to get this clean Yep, there you go. Awesome. All right, thank you again, bro. I'm going to finish up. All right, Cleaners Connect. So, you see, see what I'm saying? Communication with the customer. Mm -hmm. Let the customer know what's going on while you're cleaning. You got any trouble areas? Let them know, guys. And look, this is what I was talking about right there. See what I'm saying? Look at that, look at that camera. See what I'm saying, guys? I just noticed that. They are watching. All right, Cleaners Connect. Let me go ahead and finish up here so I can get over here to this job with the fellas. And I uh, wish I could have recorded this for my guys. And, uh, oh, that's cool, Stacey. Thanks, man. And uh, go ahead and meet up with, uh, I'm going to say Chandler, uh, Kevin DeAndre. Help them knock out this wood job. And, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Don't be that cleaner, guys. All right?